Hey everyone, Trent Gunnell here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do episode number two on deer camp cooking. We're going to do uh, pan seared chicken with garlic and mushrooms and deep fried potatoes. So y'all stick around with us. It should be really good. I'm just cooking for one tonight, so I'm only going to do three potatoes, but you want to get them all peeled real good. And tonight we're going to deep fry them. On my other video, we uh, kind of pan fry them with potatoes and onions, but there's all kinds of ways to do it. So, all right, we got our potatoes peeled. Next thing we want to do is slice them. I like slicing mine an eighth an inch thick. You can do it however you like. Uh, you can quarter them up also when you're deep frying them, whatever makes you happy. Okay, we got all that done. Now we're ready to go. Okay, to deep fry them, you need to submerge them really good. So we're going to use about a half a bottle of canola oil. Get every last drop in there. All right, good enough. We'll wait a few minutes to get the oil real hot. I know we're cooking, but I had to get a beautiful shot of that crescent moon right here hanging above us on camp right here. Beautiful evening, still kind of mild, but good days are coming. While that grease is heating up, we're gonna put us some uh, red beans in. They're more or less like pinto beans. But... They call them red beans. Huh. Anyway, they're good. We'll light these babies up. Put them on a low simmer. Okay, the oil's getting real close. The way I like to test is just dip a potato in there. You can hear it. It's ready to go. So we're going to submerge all these potatoes in here. It takes about probably 9 to 11 minutes to cook them, deep fry them, and then when they come out, we'll season them to taste. They're looking good, doing just what they're supposed to be doing. I like taking a little black pepper, putting it in my beans. Make sure they're all separated really good, where they're getting good and cooked. It won't take them long. Like I said, probably eight to 10 minutes or 12 minutes, depending on what you got. Get a shot of that right there. They're deep frying, totally submerged. On the uh, camp episode one, deer camp cooking, we uh, pan fried them with potatoes and onions. So this is what I call deep frying them. They don't have onions in them this time, but when you pull them out, you just season them, drain them on. First, you drain them on a paper towel, on a paper plate, and then you uh, season them to taste. They're really good. They're cooking at the perfect heat. You can see them browning really nice. While the potatoes are cooking, we're gonna give the beans a real, a real good stir here. Just simmer them really, really slow. That's a really good look at them right there. They're browning up really, really good. Okay, they're done. About 10 minutes later, we'll scoop them out. And 
and drain them real good. Once we get them all out, we're going to season them up. As you can tell, I really like potatoes. I like them all kinds of ways, but I do them several different ways. Get them all out of here. Okay, once we got them on here, kind of shake them around a little bit. We're gonna season them to taste. This salt don't come out of here good. It's kosher salt, so pour a little bit in my hand. A little black pepper. I like to kind of give that a little toss. Okay, they look really good. That's it. Now time to cook the chicken. All right, it's time to put the chicken in. This chicken don't take long with chicken tenderloins. Okay, for this, we're going to put a little black pepper on there. A little kosher salt. Okay, we're going to flip them and season them on the other side as well. A little black pepper. A little kosher salt. For this next step, I'm going to get the garlic ready. Peel the outside layer out. Off. Next, we want to dice it. Okay, we got it searing really good, so we want to add a little bit of liquid. That'll help steam it and cook it good and seared on the edges. Next thing we're going to do, we'll add our garlic. Give that a stir. That garlic's really gonna bring out the flavor. And that moisture will cook out of there. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add the mushrooms. Give that a good stir. This is what you call pan-seared chicken with garlic and mushrooms. Really good. We're going to let that cook down just a little bit. We're getting close. Okay, we're gonna give it a little stir. The mushrooms are browning real nicely. The chicken's browning good. We're just about done here. Okay, I don't have a pot holder. <laughs> I'm gonna use the next best thing, this paper towel holder. off okay we are done let's service some up 
plenty of mushrooms and chicken. Got some deep fried taters. Get us some uh, red beans. Well, we lost one. Okay, we got us a plate here. We got us some red beans. Uh, we got us some uh, pan seared chicken with garlic mushrooms, and deep fried taters. We're fixing to eat this stuff up. Okay, let's give this a try. Mmm. You really taste the garlic. And the mushrooms. Nice little touch. That's really good. Red beans. Deep fried taters. Fine eating right here. Fine eating. Mm. Good. All right, guys, this is the old cook station all lit up at night. It's Saturday night at deer camp, and I'm by myself, but I'm having a good time eating good. Uh, I'm fixing to eat the rest of my dinner, and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll catch everybody on the next video. Thanks a lot.